find yourself running to the circuit breaker because it keeps tripping? Well, there are some things that you can do to prevent that from happening. Jay Klein from Penguin Air Electrical and Plumbing is here with some tips from you. I know I was laughing about that because I'm like, <laughs> the circuit breaker. Yeah. Oh, that's funny, Jay. What's that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I honestly, I, yeah, something trips, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. And so that is very common as well. But one of the things, they're usually a box mounted most of the time on the side of the house by the garage That's out the front. Circuit breaker, That's right? the circuit yeah, breaker. Okay, I know that. The whole panel there. Okay. And then inside you'll have all of these like individual circuit breakers. Okay, these little switches right here. I'm yes. gonna put that up there so we yep. can see it. Now what am I what am I looking for when I see So that? what you're looking for is you can see there's a switch on them uh -huh. um, that goes up and down. Okay. One's on, one's off. And so if you find one, you'll see in the, they'll all be in a row perfectly on. Mm -hmm. If you'll sign, you'll easily see one that is either in the middle or off. Okay. And so you'll easily be able to go down the row and see, okay, that's a problem. That one should be on. Okay. And then do you just turn it on? Flip it off and right back on. Oh, off and yep. on. Okay. All right. It's always scary I because know. it's electrical I stuff and I know a lot of us just don't want to deal yeah. with it. So first of all, what, what causes that? So it can be something as random as a short, you know, something that went bad, an electronic piece that failed on you, um, something like that, you know, a power cord got wet outside or something if it was in the lawn and the sprinklers came on. Oh. So that's not a crazy big deal, okay. but we usually do want to be alert if something happens like that, especially if it happens twice. Oh. That means there is an issue there There's that is causing that to trip. Okay. And could that cause further problems if we don't do anything? Can. Okay, yeah, we can. definitely don't <clears throat> want to yep. worry about that. Okay, um, a lot of things, uh, first of all, does that mean it's damaged? Or does that mean there's something going on out, outside of that? Or I guess you gotta find that out. Yeah, so it usually doesn't mean, some of the breakers will go bad. It usually doesn't mean the breaker's bad. It usually means that there's something that's plugged into the that outlet or the outlet itself has an issue. Okay. So we wanna find that. A lot of times, of course, you get a lot of circuit breaker trips during Christmas time because everybody's oh. putting up tons of Christmas okay. lights and decorations, okay. so they'll overload those. But if that's not the case, then there is another problem, mm -hmm. and gosh, you know, the last thing you want is some sort of electrical issue, yes. right? Okay, let's talk about um, smoke detectors because uh, especially a lot of the newer ones uh, do require them to be installed uh, via the electrical panel, yes. right? And, yep. and it's, is it better that way uh, versus like batteries? Yeah, so they'll all have a battery backup in them, oh, okay. but the nice thing is then they're hardwired into the home. So the battery you won't have to, yes. that was the word I was Yes, you won't have to replace the battery all the time. It's just there as a backup. Um, but we do always come out, and one of the biggest misconceptions on these is they expire. Oh. So the sensitivity of them to smoke will actually start to fade throughout the years. Really? They usually expire about 10 years is most oh, of them. Oh my gosh, yeah. good to know. Okay, yeah. real quickly I want to talk about surge protectors mm -hmm. because we have a lot of electrical storms happening yes. right around monsoon. How important is it to have a surge protector so, and, and how easy it is for you to install? Yeah, so it's very vital and uh, this is our surge protector here and it's very vital for that mainly of course, all the lightning strikes that we get during the monsoon season here, mm -hmm. we get a ton of them. And during the monsoon season with all those electrical strikes, mm -hmm. it can take out things like your air conditioner, mm -hmm. your refrigerator, your computer systems on the home. Yep. It'll send that really crazy power surge through yep. and it can wipe out a ton of electronics that are very expensive but this will actually be a keep safe for And it. guess what? Most of our home's appliances have all these like computer chips in them now, yep. so you wanna make sure you're protected. Good yep. stuff, Jay. Good information as always. Okay, here's a special offer for you now. You can get $150 off a whole home surge protector. You gotta protect all your stuff. It can't combine this offer with anything else in terms and conditions may apply. Just call Peng Penguin Air Plumbing and Electrical at 480-747-6801 or visit the website. You can also make your appointment online at penguinair.com.